Good day, everyone. I hope everyone had a thoroughly good Thursday. Um, whoops. I got this up out of my car. Tried out my dad's truck to charge my phone. Apparently, his lighter doesn't work in his truck. Uh, <laughs> so that didn't work. But he does, I found out, have a audio jack. So I'm able to plug in my iPod shuffle. Or my iPhone, but I might as well use my shuffle. It's got all my music on it. Um, that's it works that way. I hope the car I wind up getting has something like that. That would be awesome. Um, so, Thursday. My dad let me use the truck today. He didn't have to. I could have probably used the van or it's not very far or been dropped off. Actually, I wound up going and having dinner with my dad after volunteering at the library today and wound up meeting him at Chipotle for dinner. And so what could have happened is he could have taken his truck like usual. I could have been dropped off by somebody just like last week and then he could have come and picked me up at the library. Um, instead, he had the van, I had the truck, and we met up there. So, before that, I volunteered at the library. Let's talk about that a little bit. Um, not much. Uh, there were a ton of books that needed to have the holds, the names of the, of the people that are put, have the books on hold. And I have to write them all out on each card and put it in the book, put them in alphabetical order, and put them on the shelves that are behind the circulation desk countertop. Um, and there was quite a bit more than usual and so it took me, wound up taking me a solid three hours to write them all down, put them in order and put them on the shelves in the right order and everything. So from one o'clock to four o'clock I did that. Four o'clock hit, um, there were no, there was like one that came right around four but there, were, there weren't really any teen youth volunteer helpers today. So no one did the three o'clock holds list. So I asked them at four o'clock if they wanted me to do the holds list, knowing I wouldn't have time to finish the whole thing before five o'clock when the next holds list come out. Um, and so what I've been doing is I've been the I've been helping the youth helpers finish the three o'clock holds list after I finish, and then when the five o'clock hits, I do the five o'clock holds list and usually get done around six forty-five, and that's perfect to leave. So this time I do the three o'clock holds list to four o'clock. I get about I get about halfway through it, and then five o'clock hits. And so I, I go to them and I say, Hey, do you want to print up the five o'clock list? Uh, and before you print it up, let me compare it to the list the old list, and I can take things off the list that I've already checked out. So that way I won't use as much paper. So I was able to cut what would have been probably another ten pages down to three. I guess it's like six pages down to three because front and back counts. And so I got down to about three, printed them up, and did them. That took me an hour and 15 minutes to finish it all. And I went over, met my dad, we went in, we bought something, we took it back to the house, we ate, and then I took his truck to my Bible study. Good time. It was interesting because it wasn't connected to the way we talked about the drive because of the drive. We were supposed to talk about what we do with the drive. And so, our discussion tonight didn't really have a solid theme. I posted the scripture we looked at on Facebook. So, there's a connection there for you. If anyone checks out on Facebook wants to see what verses we looked at, it was a strange, not really a clear direction for it. It was just like a lot of verses to look at, a few ideas to think about. Um, and then we were able to look at our prayer requests. We have a whiteboard that we wrote a prayer request down on, and we update it periodically with something. If this has changed, that's changed. Some of us do, some of us don't. Some of us haven't been there, and so all these old requests are up there. And we took the time to look at the requests and say, God answered this one. God answered this one. God answered this one. This is something we're still waiting to see. This is something that's ongoing. God answered this one with a negative. Um, but it was, it was cool to see all the ones that he did. Like mine originally said Nathan Job, and I was looking for a job, and then it became Nathan Job Library or Planet Smoothie, 
and then I got the job playing a smoothie, and then it became Nathan Job Library because I was hearing that they pushed me pushed me forward for a job at the library, and then it became Nathan Job Library job interview, which was last week's prayer request. I had it Wednesday, it seemed to go well, and so this week's prayer request um, still says Nathan Job interview. We had checked off though as completed mostly because he's answering, hopefully, in the right the the way hopefully the way I want it but most importantly hopefully the way he wants it to work out um, and then I was able to add to that list Nathan Carr <laughs> because that's a new thing I gotta worry about and hopefully will be resolved soon my dad was talking about the fact that I don't absolutely need a car because we have enough cars to juggle the situation basically and um, at least until school starts and on certain days maybe it'll be tough at that point but that makes me rely on them that much more and I like I finally got the job which is something that hanging over my head that was really requ uh, making it so I had to rely on them and I was looking forward to putting that in the past and then my car stops working and I'm back to that and so I'd like to save money and wait as long as possible by not getting a car immediately I don't want to have to rely on them. I don't want this hanging over my head while I'm relying on them in that way. And so it's like, if I could get the job at the library, see a solid certain number of days working, and then I'll be working like on Saturdays and a couple days during the week that work out, the timing being the right way, then maybe I could keep going like this. But I don't want to if I don't have to. So, yeah. Came home, dropped the truck off, went inside, tried to lay out a plan for tomorrow. Basically, my dad's taking his truck. My mom's going to leave the van. Heather and her have to go over to the church, to the preschool, to do things over there, getting ready, getting set up. And so they're going to take Heather's car, and I have to run a couple errands in the van, and then go to the church and pick my mom up. And then we're going to go up to Sanford and look at Toyota and maybe a couple others not Toyota Honda Honda look at the fit and maybe a couple others Chevrolet if there's in the area if we see a smart car maybe try test drive one of those um <clears throat> yeah it should be a good day but I'm gonna end the vlog here so good night everyone I'll see you tomorrow bye